One, two, three, one, and welcome everybody to Mom and Dad's House, where our favorite two people are Mom and Dad, and we have Hattie! Hey! Just to let everybody know that you know, we can get questions from our guests who watch us on Mom and Dad's House, and we have one today, very interesting, and it is, is if you go out on a first date with somebody, mm -hmm. is it better to take them on a place like a Starbucks or should you take them to like a tip of canoe place, someplace classy? What should you do on a first date? Who wants to start first? Hmm, don't all speak at once. <laughs> well, uh, I I would say that the person that invited you to go out, it depends on his pocketbook. Mm. And if he takes you to a Starbucks, that might mean the one he's taking out she might they might say, well, you know, he must not have too much going on in his pocket book. I think Starbucks is expensive though, isn't it? Yeah. Not like, not like eating out in a fancy restaurant compared to a fancy place. You don't you don't have to leave a tip. Nope. Well, that's well, you I'm just saying that there's a difference in going out to a classy restaurant and mm -hmm. going out to Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I think of Starbucks, I think of a hot drink. Mm. Rather than a meal, classy meal. Mm. Now, that's my take. That's my take on it. Okay, who's next? Well, since I've never been to a Starbucks, I never either. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't say. But Fair. I guess I'll, I guess I'll just, I'll just backpedal here and say, you mm. know, if if this is somebody just walking up to me in the grocery store mm -hmm. or something to say do you want to go out mm -hmm. or did I meet him on the internet mm -hmm. or did I meet him at church mm -hmm. or you know have I known him all along circumstances mean something you know it it, it just de depends mm -hmm. um I I am I mean since since I am single I am prepared to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. So if I don't care for whatever he has in mind, mm -hmm. I can take care of myself. I can Uber home mm -hmm. or I can, I can sit down and have a hot drink. If it's my first time and I've never, never known him before or anything. Um, I, I guess Starbucks is okay. I, I don't know the, mm -hmm. I don't know what the what the surroundings. You know, they have coffee tables for two people, or they have. Mm. Yeah, I, don't, I don't even know what they have. Yeah, they kind of have like little place for two people, internet there, kind of that kind of thing there, where you can just kind of get in. It's it's it's, it's kind of like three or four people, sometimes a table. You know, it's kind of like cozy kind of a thing there. Hmm. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, I. And there's traffic, so you don't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, you have people coming in there constantly, so yeah, you know, at least yeah, you know you, this is kind of a safe place. So so I knew him before, or I didn't know him? No, before. you don't know him. Yeah, if you don't know him before, I mean... Oh, it, it, oh, if, I, if I didn't know him before, I ain't going oh, out. Oh, no. I, I, I'll go to uh, <laughs> where there's a lot of people. <laughs> I'm going to go to a secluded Starbucks. Uh, uh oh! I mean, but Starbucks has people coming, you know, yeah, coming, coming yeah, there. Lots yeah, of people, yeah. so you got traffic. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I... Well, yeah, you don't want to give the wrong impression either mm -hmm. to him that I'm easy. You oh, know what uh, I mean? Mm -hmm. Even if it is Starbucks, or maybe he said McDonald's. I don't know. You know, first time, and I've never met him. I am not going out with him. Okay. If I don't know him, if I if I don't have, you know, a somewhat relationship with mm -hmm. him, I'm not going. Mm. So, so a brother that just meets you, they they they, they gotta how they gonna meet you, Hanty? You know they, well, they, how they how they come to take me to Starbucks? Well, <laughs> you know there has to be a start. There there has to be a starting point. Right. And where would that start? All right. Point? All right. Place 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 mm -hmm. the scene. Place the scene. So so let's just say someone met you online. They like to say, hey, I want to take you out, and you know take you out to Starbucks. Or take you out to McDonald's. McDonald's. Someplace that's just neutral. Or do you say, you know what, take me out to a nice tip of canoe place that's a little better. Um, I don't know what's a medium kind of place to go out there. Um, uh, uh, prime table. Prime table. 
Uh oh, we got the quiet. Um, I I since I'm since I'm single, mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm just too particular. I'll probably be single for the rest of my life. No, here it does, it does um, because mm -hmm. because um, I don't I don't want to. Uh, I'm not easy. No, definitely not. And I'm not desperate. Yes, definitely not. Uh, being home alone by myself is okay. Mm. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dying for a, for a date. No, you, um, in fact, you got to do suiting you right now. <laughs> so, brothers, if you're slow, she may be taken here in a couple weeks. <laughs> Better step up your game. <laughs> Just want to warn you ahead of time. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Dad, good, Dad. You should. My turn. turn is on a first date. Mm -hmm. I would advise to take her out to a nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. That way you can judge what type of person she is. Oh, you are. Well, no, what <laughs> she is. What she is. Okay. You know, if, how do you say it? If she doesn't have good table manners, uh -huh. or if she, you know, blows her nose on the napkin, mm -hmm. then it gives you a good impression. Well, this is a lady that I may not be interested in you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i got you dad so so start from the top and work down oh okay okay uh you know she she may uh she may uh, uh sip her soup with a fork mm, okay uh you know this is you get a good <laughs> idea of the type of lady you're dealing with here so but she has class mm -hmm. She will have good table manners. Mm. But, you know, if she has class, if she doesn't have class, well, that will show up. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it depends on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I would assume if you're interested to the point where you would like to know her better, mm -hmm. I would say start with a nice, classy restaurant. Mm. Good point, Dad. But if it's someone just to take up your time, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead and take it to McDonald's or Popeye's chicken. Ooh. You know, Ooh. mom's throwing darts at you, Dad. <laughs> it's kind of scaring me a little bit here, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> this face that she's looking at is. Hope you have a good night tonight, Dad. Well, see, you know, see the thing is, like I was telling your mother, our first date was to A and W root beer stand. What was that all about, Dad? I can't even remember that. <laughs> yeah, it was during her lunch hour. We went to A&W at Beer Stand. And, oh, right down the street from your house? Yeah, just down the street on Stone Lake there. And that was our first date. That that, that was what Casablas had to offer. Uh, well, well, no, at that time, we did have a um, old place out there on, on Diamond Lake. What was that called? Diamond Harbor. Oh, Harbor Inn. Yeah, a really nice restaurant. Now, how, come we, how come we didn't take Mom to a <laughs> I know well, I didn't because, because, because at the time I was a poor, struggling college student. Oh, I couldn't afford Diamond Harbor Inn, mm -hmm. but I could afford a hot dog and a root beer. Oh, Dad gave all she he had to my mom. Isn't that that's so right? Funny? That's right. Mom you can't give that. what you don't have. <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's quite handy and, my, and by the way, just let you all know, my dad takes my mom and handy all the time to exquisite restaurants he likes to right. eat. Right. Every week. So yeah. My dad is not cheap, just to let you no, all he know that. Not. He's far from well, it. Well, he so is not, not. Now I can afford a better <laughs> restaurant. We don't have to go to, uh, uh, you know, A&W Root Beer Stand anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, dad, no. you, can, you can take mom out to A&W Root Beer Stand for just nostalgia, can't you? No, no. Or or tasty twirl. Tasty no, twirl. Uh, uh, tasty twirl I like because that is sentimental to me. Oh, okay. I like it in the summertime. Yeah, it's sentimental to me that growing up, uh, you know, after football games we go to the twirl, and you know, after school we go there have a hamburger or mm -hmm. uh, um, banana split or whatever, and that was me growing up in the small town of Cassapolis, Michigan. No, see, it's very everybody. sentimental and special to me. Well, you know, for you know, whatever your budget can afford, giving your best. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, like I said, I can see both sides of it. 
um, the standpoint of safety issues nowadays and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, just to warn to you guys, please don't take my aunt to a Starbucks first. Take to a classy restaurant where it's nice yeah. people like that. You mm -hmm. know, she, she, she's not desperate. So, <laughs> far from that. Not begging. Yeah, yeah, she's not begging for attention. There's a song, Treat Her Like a Lady and She'll yes. Be a Lady. Yes. So, so like I said, it's just a, this is, this is a heads up for all you brothers. If you are going to be doing something with my aunt, first of all, you got to check through us first. My dad, myself, and Carlin. And then after you get past that, then you may be able to talk to my aunt. So, <laughs> we don't want any surprises. Anybody mistreating my aunts. So, with that in mind, anything you guys want to say before we, we let off this one here? I think we, we've done a very good job of, you know, addressing this. Choose the one that's inviting you out very carefully. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and like, 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 like uh, Karen always says. Look at the shoes. And Hanty's always right. That's right. Look at the shoes. If they're, the shoes. Polished, if they're nice, they're all right. Mm-hmm. So the guys, have, think, if you have work boots on right. and they're all it's rusty, forget it. And, 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 and like, like I said, you also got to dress right. My, my aunt does not like sloppy dudes. Just so I'm, I'm just trying to tell you guys, come, please come correct. You know. And, then, and look at the betting process as this. If you get past us, you have a chance. <laughs> you have a chance if you get past us. So don't don't be afraid to come through us, folks. We can help you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, you know, like I said, we we you know, like I said, my aunt, she she she's a very good looking woman. I love her very dearly. So I have to watch out. Yes, Hanty. So how do they get in touch with you? Oh. <laughs> you know try how you your do, best. You know how you do your guests. <laughs> try your best to get in touch with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you know, I know my aunt is not easy. <laughs> so just let you all know. Just you can message me, text me, you know, or call me. But better come correct when you get with me, because guess what? I'm sending you to other people to get vetted. So uh -huh. and, I always, and I always leave a big tip. Yes, yes. And, and and please guys, if you're broke, just bypass this whole thing. <laughs> anyway, I love you all. Till next time, we'll see you on Mom and Dad Talk. Oh.